Next, I want to talk to you about how to compact and repair a database. Because whether you realize it or not, your database is growing all the time. And it's not just a matter of when you add in tables or when you add in data to those tables. Your database file grows even when you change the design of a table or a form or a report. And believe it or not, even when you delete an item, that doesn't necessarily mean that you freed up space. That space that was storing that object isn't automatically reclaimed. And because of this, your database can slow down. You may notice that it takes longer for objects to open or even for queries to run. So if that's the case, you really want to compact your database. Now, compacting your database is not the same as, say, compressing your data. Compacting the database means that access is just going to eliminate all the unused space in your database. And if your database ever becomes damaged or corrupted, you should definitely use the Compact and Repair Database tool. Now, it might not fix all of the errors, but it's definitely going to be a big help. And you can choose to set your database up so that it will automatically compact and repair your database for you, or you can do it manually. But before you run a compact and repair, you should always first make a backup of your database. All right, so I'll show you how to set up automatic compact and repair. So I'll head on up to my file tab up at the top left hand side of the screen and then down to options. You want to go to the current database category, which is the second one on the top left. And in the first group on the right, which is application options, you want to come down to compact on close and you just want to check that box and then click on OK. You'll notice that a little dialog box pops up that says that you must close and reopen the current database for the option to take effect. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now if you're inside of your database and you want to manually compact and repair it, you just head over to the Database Tools tab of the ribbon and on the far left hand side you have Compact and Repair Database and it runs the compact and repair for you. You can also go to the File tab, and in the Info section, click on Compact and Repair. And that will go ahead and run Compact and Repair for you as well. Now here, working with the Northwind database, I didn't have any objects that were corrupt. My database wasn't corrupt. And, you know, I would know if it was corrupt because Access usually gives you a dialog box asking if you want to fix a corrupt database. And I didn't see that here. Also, I didn't do too much to this database so far, so I didn't have very much to compact. And that's why it was very quick to compact and repair. But again, if you want to keep your database file size as small as possible and eliminate some of that unused space, just go ahead and compact and repair or automatically set up that every time you close your database, the database will automatically compact for you.